Hi, welcome to a Chris Poland lick video, something. Um, this, um, this lick was taking off uh, one of Chris Poland's videos. If you just look up the name Chris Poland, you scroll down and you see him playing a Les Paul and it starts out with him playing just these kind of keyboardish type rips, his, his famous stuff more or less. There is a guy um, that uh, does late night lessons. He's very popular on YouTube that did the first section of the beginning. Um, I wish he had gone more into uh, the second part. So there's two licks, the one at the beginning, which kind of fades in. And then he stops and he goes, wow, that tone is great. And then he keeps going. And he does this lick that covers one position, two positions on the fretboard. So I spent a little time trying to figure out the, well, first of all, late night lessons helped me with the first part of that one where he kind of does this chromatic thing where he's going like that. I don't know if you can hear that. So I figured that part out, but when he stops and he's, you know, again, it's just a one minute video and he's playing the Les Paul and he stops and he goes, wow, that tone is tight. He starts playing again. He goes like that. So I tried, I did the best that I could. There's a part in there where he comes down and it's a little muffled, but from what I can hear, uh, this is what I want to show you. So when he starts again, you can figure, I'll, I'll show you any, here we go. So it starts at the, um, what fret is that? I don't know. That's the 12th fret right there. Um, G string and then D string. He starts almost every lick that he does like that. He starts. Just like that. So again, we're gonna start. And then uh, the, that one right there. I can't name my frets today. It's those frets. And we're gonna walk up it. We're gonna walk up chromatically. And then he go. He climbs all the way up. So we'll walk. Now there he does a huge bend. From what I can tell, he starts at the 15th fret and bends all the way up. Like, I just, I'm not doing that. It hurts. Especially I have 10, oh, I just dumped my guitar to him. And I have a sock, so I didn't make any noise. <clears throat> so then he goes, the tone's tight and it starts off again. So it's gonna be 12, 14 on the G string. I'm all out of tune. Anyway, um, 12 fret B string. We're doing the same type of like keyboard roll thing here. 12. I don't have any tabs. 12, 14, 13 on the G string. Then back up 12, 13. Do that three times. One, two, three. And then we're gonna do 12, 15. So. Okay, that's that. Then, so it's three times for both of those patterns. Three, one, two, three. And then he goes down for the final time. And then 12, 13, 15, 12, 14, 15. Back down, 14, 12, 15 B string. And then 14 E, 12 on the E. So now we have, oops. So yeah, it's, it's just a basic, um, one of those Ingve type um, patterns.
So then this is the part that I couldn't figure out because as much as I tried to hear what he's playing after that, it's really kind of muffled. But from what I could hear and as far as what I can hear from pick strokes, it goes something like this. So, so, so we have this coming up and then he goes to the uh, G string 14th fret and then 13th fret, same string. Twelfth fret of the B string, and then 14, 13, 12 on the G string. So I'll do the whole thing again. And then this is going to sound a little weird, but I hear the um, 13th fret on the D string. Yeah. So let me to let me do that again. So if if anyone can tell me what that note is, I'd greatly appreciate it because that's that's all I can hear. That's all I can see him doing. And right here when he comes down, like I'll do it again. There's like there's a muffled part. There's like a mixture of all these notes in there. And the best that I can hear, I, he doesn't, that would be more of a Chris Pullen type thing because he always does that. He comes down, but it's just that note is not there. So So from playing that 13th fret, he immediately switches down a position. So let me play that slow one more time. And then we go change position immediately. From that note, we go down all the way back to where we were on the D string. So that's going to be, uh, what is that, 12, 11, 10, 9 to 12, 9 to 12 on the D string. Then that's 9, 10, 9, 10, 12 on the G string. Okay, yeah. 9, 10, 9, whoops, 9, 12, 9, 10, 12, and then 9 on the B string, coming down back on the G string to G, I mean, yeah, G, 12, 12 fret on the G string, 9, uh, note 10, 9. This is free. You're not paying for this. Shut up. 9, 12, 9, 10, 12, 9, 12, 10, 9, 10, 9. Whoops, no. Yeah, he does that. Twelve on the D string, and then we're gonna do this pattern. Um, Twelve D string, ten nine, ten nine on the G string. So we're just continuing that pattern all the way down. Whoops. Can't even do it now. I don't even remember how that goes. Chris Poland, he's so great. <laughs> So there you have it. So now you just put that together really fast. <laughs>